Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, and Firefox are approaching version 100 in their software this might actually break some of the websites such as yahoo t-mobile hbo go and many others bethesda and others uh, the reason is due to a bug in checking the version of the browser let's jump into it and discuss so this comes from forbes let's read this a uh, little bit of a blurb and then we'll discuss a little bit more serious warning issued for millions of edge firefox and chrome users uh, written by gordon kelly google microsoft and mozilla have warned users of chrome edge and firefox that a unified update will be soon be made to all three browsers which could bring down some of the words biggest website in a move which has echoed of the y2k bug if you're unfamiliar this is the 2000s bug right people used to use the date as double digits you know for the 90s but when we moved to 2000 we're flipping back to zero zero so so nothing really broke back then i don't even remember i i just i barely entered university that day that year so uh but but surprisingly nothing much broke except apps that uses two digits here so this is very similar chrome edge and firefox will soon move to version number 100 and this will cause some of the biggest sites to fail so they are very sure because they build up a temporary version and they bump the, ver the version to 100 and uh, they started visiting what different websites to basically test the browser and yeah these are the websites that broke bethesda t-mobile hbo go and yahoo so four currently i i believe some of the other ones have been um, fixed the developers actually fixed the problem right but so why why is that so let's read the problem here and then a uh, little bit discuss more the problem most websites check the version number of your browser when you visit for security i would say not uh, just security to be honest uh, there are there are some features that the browser have and that I want to take advantage of. So in my backend, I can force you to fail if you don't or you are not using that particular version of the browser. Because I'm I, I know that I don't know the 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 beacon API has been introduced in this version of Chrome, and I want to use it. Uh, so if you don't have it, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna let you. Or the for example. Uh, and then modular JavaScript, the MJS files have been introduced in this particular version, and I want users to use that particular Chrome browser. So this is this is basically it. So what they are doing, the bug is they're checking the first two digits, right? So if you're uh, if you're version hundred, the version will come up to be ten. So based on that, you're gonna check only the first two digits, and if that gives you ten instead of hundred then you will fail right so how do you actually uh, let's talk about how do you check the version of the browser so there are two methods right look at all these beautiful errors oh my god forbes i'm not gonna even div attempt to div tool your sites jesus all right so here's one way you can do a window dot user agent right and that gives you a huge you know, this string that tells you, oh, this is me, right? This is the equivalent version of my what I'm browsing. A Chrome 98.0, right? And a Safari. So this has always fascinated me. I need to read more about it. Maybe the front-end engineers uh, here in the, in the channel can can shed more lights. I don't know why we're the user agent actually have all of them. There must be a good reason. But, but you can actually get the versions from here. So I'm using... Chrome 98. Let's actually verify that. Chrome 98, 4, 7, 5, 8, right? Ba -ba -da -bum. About. About Chrome. Sounds like the same version, right? 102. 102, baby. So that, that's the one way. So in once the page load locally in the client side, you can have some JavaScript that kicks in and check the browser and fail with an alert message or just don't continue loading the site or just give up uh, sending any more requests, right? The other approach is just to uh, stop it on its knees and the back end, really. So when you make a request, the first request that you send, there's something that we send here. Jesus, look at this. 
Look at this. Oh my god. I don't know if you watch my diff tooling series, but this is this is atrocious. All right? So, uh, let's see. You, you probably won't see this from... Uh, yeah, you won't see that. God dang it. You won't see it. Now you should probably see it. Yeah, my, my face still covers it. Let's do that. All right. So now you see it, right? See? When you send a request, the first request, or all of them really, uh, we add a header on the request headers here, right? Which says, hey... This is the user agent that tries to connect. And any client that connects supposed to fill this, you know, you can easily fake this, you know, from your app. If you have like a Python app, you can literally say anything in the user agent. And we're just getting over it already, right? So when you do that, you can check on the back end that, hey, I, I really only want, I don't know, Chrome, this particular version. And if nothing else, I don't want anyone to uh to connect to me that will really if you do this on the back end right uh, then your page you can just serve some other page like unauthorized or or version is incorrect but this is really not a good idea because that that means even google right when they try to uh to what are they call the crawl your website then they won't be able to connect to you right because you're blocking them you're blocking them from connected though so their user agent won't be chrome they're probably going to be some some other headless app right so this is this is a problem right and i believe uh, as as forbes says so why are all the browsers updating to version 100 at the same time i believe it's just to pressure the this book, big website to actually fix their code right so whether it's in the javascript or in the back end i really doubt it's on the back end to be honest right it's probably some javascript local code that executes as hey you have an old browser so just fixing that, it's not going to be easy for those big companies because those this code is probably, as we say in Arabic, uh, which means it's been there forever, you know, and nobody know anything about it, right? So so getting there and try to fix it, people will get freaked out to just touch anything, you know, and especially legacy code. So yeah, I, I, I think it's going to take a little bit of while to to fix that and make sure nothing ac actually else break, but um, they, ha they have to fix it. Otherwise, uh, Chrome, uh, Firefox, and you know, others will, will break. And uh, according to their website also, they, they mentioned that if they might actually delay the 100 release, it's like, okay, let's freeze it on 99 or 99 port. Let's add some patches and some minor, bump up some minor versions. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's about it. I thought this was an interesting news. So I wanted to talk about it. Yeah. Catch you in the next one. Thank you so much. Stay awesome.